All right, so yesterday I made the post with the, the CM9 uh, slide and I talked about a quick sear we've been working on. We've got our first prototype uh, sample and it's gonna be a big game changer. It's That's awesome. We're gonna have to design a trigger to go with it uh, to limit the over travel because the brake is about half of what it used to be. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, here, I don't have any markings on this. Here on our CW40, we've got the markings of where your trigger, your trigger travel normally starts and ends, okay? So, you know, right there, you hit your first wall, feel it, and notice it coincides with that mark, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we do this. So start as soon as you get engagement. That pre-travel, that doesn't count for anything. That's not actually part of the pull. Your pull starts as soon as you get engagement. So, see right there, to where the wall starts, All right? And we go until the break happens, which is right there. The hardest part of doing all this on camera, because normally we do this without right there all right so we got that little bit of over travel so break is right about there okay so boom to boom 40 is a little bit in the same it's about the same break all right if you held them up side by side and looked at the marks they're just about in the same place every mass-produced pistol is going to have slightly different tolerances that's just the way of the world it's way of machining, it's way of molding, it's way of everything. Doesn't mean it's bad. Oh, it's just, no, that's just manufacturing, man. Things happen. All right, so our pull's about the same. If you line up our marks, okay, we'll make these brighter again so we can see them. But they're about in the same spot, a couple thousandths apart, maybe. So we know our full stroke starts here ends there very little over travel almost no pre-travel so this is normally where the trigger would break and here's our pre-travel reset will stay the same we can't change that you need that tiny amount of pre-travel so it doesn't immediately just bang but oh what's that I've got the spring in wrong on the slide locks. So don't worry about that. I didn't put it in wrong. I squished it and it's acting funny. So, right there. Pull, 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 break. The rest of that's over travel and then it stops. Reset. And there it is. So this is gonna be a big deal, guys. This is gonna be a game changer for these little pistols. Uh, it does not change the pull weight. We're not going to change the pull weight outside of the reduced power spring kit we already sell. Just because that short, you don't wanna go too light because then you can run into the chance of a runaway gun. But uh, we're starting on the trigger design next, and we'll go in there real fast and do a little, uh, little, little shooting. And let you see how fast we can run this thing. So hold tight. All right, so we swapped out our internal ejector for nine mil. We've got a CW9 slide on now, mostly because the quick sear sample is not heat treated. So with the recoil of the 40, uh, slamming that thing back and forth, we don't want to tear up the sample because we're trying to make a trigger to go with it. The hammer, the hammer, the sear's going into production regardless. Uh, so the next batch we get um, will be heat treated uh, and ready to go with the trigger. But again, we don't want to tear it up. So what we're going to do with this first mag is we're just going to mag dump and then we'll zoom in. Uh, right up to the trigger 
and slow fire so you can see exactly where it's breaking, okay? second mag loaded we're gonna slow fire now uh, if you've been following all this since uh, I stirred the pot with the IGTV video the other day uh, I did post on our Instagram and Facebook accounts the uh, order list for car the cocking cam which is aka the sear is the same in all models across the board so this thing is going to work with all models all right so now we're going to do a little slow fire and we're done. in my slide lock but as you can see much much shorter so this is going to be a real big deal guys and uh, we can't wait to get to market we appreciate everybody uh, that's been interested in seeing this and hanging with us over the past few months uh, eight months or so we've been designing this and uh, we're real excited to bring this to market so uh, be sure if you got any questions email me at tech that's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. <clears throat> Be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Vimeo, and GunStreamer. And as always, be safe, be accurate. Ooh, and God bless.